Hello everyone, my name is Chuck. If you've been watching my Let's Plant vlog, then you would know that I am working on my freestanding pergola. I just finished the build in the last episode and I was going to work on the hanging baskets next. And if you've watched the latest episode, I've been planning to reset this basket of sidum burrito, which means that I would have to pull everything out and replant them again. So a lot of you were asking about how I handle my sidum burrito without breaking any of the leaves. So this video would be about that. Well, this video was brought about by the sidum burrito, I would also be covering other plants that also break apart easily, such as the sidum rubrotinctum, sidum pachyphylum, and the aurora, which is the pale version of the rubrotinctum. So that means that the video is not just about how to handle sidum burrito, but more of how to handle sidum burrito, jelly beans, and other plants that break apart easily, but that title is rather long, so I guess I'll have to think of a shorter title. So when trying to handle these types of plants, the first thing that I would ask you is, how good is your manual dexterity? You need a degree of control over your fingers, the finer the better, and in my case, I would like to consider myself dexterous. <laughs> High five. Mm. I'm not sure what sort of tests you can perform to test your dexterity, but I think you would be able to answer that yourself. Now, the next thing here is if you're unsure of your manual dexterity, rather than diving straight into the burrito, I would suggest starting with an easier plant, something that's still breaks apart but not as easily as the burrito. And I think that would be the sedum pachyphylum that you see here. It has larger leaves compared to either of these two. So this is a good thing to practice on. So the first skill I want you to practice is the pincer grasp. So it's basically something like this. It's two or three or more fingers depending on how strong your grasp is. Basically, you're going to use this, use these fingers to tug on the stem. Say for instance, I want to work on this one. So using these two fingers, I'm just going to go as low as I could and just pull it out. So that's straightforward, simple, and rather easy. I did not mean to break this out, but it was already broken when I pulled it out. So yeah, not really my fault there. Yeah, I did not mean to break this, but it was already broken when I got it. So yeah, it just fell off easily. Ignore that. <laughs> So the next technique that I want to teach you is using your entire palm or at least a lot of contact points on your hand. And the idea here is basically to create a lot of surface contact on the plant. That way you're going to distribute the pressure evenly. This is the same concept as the bed of nails. If you just step on one piece of nail, it hurts a lot. You get punctured, but if you lay down on a bed of nails, then your weight gets evenly distributed over the bed, which means that you do not get punctured. So it's the same concept here. I'm going to do that on maybe this one, the Sidum rubrotinctum, jelly beans, because compared to the Sidum pachyphylum, this one, this tends to shed its leaves more readily compared to this one. So this is easy mode. This would be, I guess, medium mode. So the technique here is basically grabbing as much of the, the stem and the leaves that you can with your entire palm. So to demonstrate the skill, I'm going to pick a branch that has lots of leaves. Again, I'm going to wrap my palm around it like so. And doing it this way means that I am not applying pressure to any particular leaf. And that allows me to, you know, as long as I maintain this type of grip, it's gentle but quite firm. I could just simply do a pincer with my two fingers here and not worry about bothering any of the plant. And here, we got it out. Now that technique that I just shown you is rather tricky and it might hurt if you have problems with your, with your wrist or maybe with your joints. So I would not recommend it for everyone. But if you have the required dexterity to pull it off, then by all means, that's another technique that you could use. Now, finally, we are going to work on our sidum burrito and this requires a lot more finesse compared to this two. 
because the leaves on this one are smaller the nodes are packed tighter together which means that you are likely to break off a leaf or two anyway and the tricky thing about it is that this thing tends to sag and trail readily compared to the other two so yeah definitely a lot of finesse involved so let me show you a couple of techniques that might work on this thing one of the nice things of the sidum burrito is that they grow very densely which means that you can have lots and lots of tries especially if you have something like this which is already quite old and already has lots of branches so it doesn't really matter if you break off some of them but again maybe you're the type who would want to preserve as much of the original plant as possible so this is where i come in one of the first techniques that you could do is similar to what we've done so far again all you have to do is to make sure to find a piece that's not tangled so as you can see right now this whole thing is a tangled mess i'm just looking for a loose stem that i could work on a base if you will so maybe i would like to work on this one this particular branch now as you can see the way i'm handling it is that i do not just you know grab or pincer or grasp the leaves i usually use a few fingers to hold them loosely like so that way if i happen to accidentally pl place a lot of pressure on any finger it would just cause the, the stem to bend rather than breaking off completely than if i have them all at, in one area like this if i pincer grasp and accidentally push down my thumb too much then i would end up removing some leaves just to show you what i mean let's say here if I accidentally push like this then oh no few leaves off if I am holding it like this and if I accidentally push on my index finger too hard look the whole stem just bends so try to keep your fingers as loose as possible leveraging on the previous technique this time I'm going to start with two hands what I'm going to do is to have one hand holding the stem loosely while the other hand is working on the stem using a pincer grasp you could use whichever hand you would want to use. I personally like using my dominant hand doing the pincer grasp to pull stuff because I have a lot more strength on this hand. So I'm right-handed, so my right hand would be on the stem, while my left hand would be supporting the stem that I'm trying to remove. So let's do this. There. Unfortunately, it is in too deep and I ended up breaking off the stem but at least i haven't managed to break off any of the leaves in this part and you know i'd rather have this break off than somewhere here breaking off and creating a bald spot because that would be really hard especially if you're after the full look so yeah i think the other lesson here is that you have to pick your battles you could either sacrifice this end and keep this intact or you could break somewhere around here and end up with a shorter stem another thing you could do with a basket like this is to start from one side and it doesn't matter which side you pick just pick a side and the reason you would want to do that is because you could you could make some mistakes on this side but once you manage to create an empty space that would give you a lot of leverage to start working on the rest so since i started here i'm going to continue from this side and again as I just mentioned, I am not particularly concerned if I manage to destroy or lose a few leaves here because this is just going to be my starter. So using my pincer grasp, I'm going to pull out this little stem here. So this stem contains a few branches and if I could just go as deep as I can possibly go, I would be able to pull out including the roots. So yeah, we're successful on that front. We managed to pull everything including the roots and since the stems are quite short on this one all i had to do was to do a pincer grasp directly on the lowest part of the branch the stem here and just apply enough pressure to wiggle out the roots in doing that some of the other stems went off as well so i'm going to continue doing that for some of these until i have a large gap to work on from this side Back in the Philippines, we had this child's game called pick up sticks where you basically have to remove the sticks and not bother the rest of the sticks. You know, they were down in a pile and it feels like I'm doing something similar. So I'm taking out this one without trying to 
dislodge the leaves of the others. So I'm just getting this out of the way so I can pull out this branch here. There. Yeah. All right, so now that I've got a gap here, that means that I have good leverage to just dig down and pull up the rest of the plants. And that is the next technique that I'm going to show you because digging down and extracting the whole plant and just loosening up the soil from below and just unraveling them slowly is a lot easier than trying to pull them out one by one. So let me just go grab one of my trowels and let's continue. So I've got my trowel now and what I'm going to do next is just to dig down the soil, well this basket has been here for about two or three years now and it's quite dry so the soil is rather compacted which is going to be quite tricky trying to break it apart. Hopefully I manage to do that properly. Right now I'm just trying to get these branches out of the way and yeah, let's dig in and see where we go from here. So from digging in, I managed to break apart some chunks and from each chunk are several stems which is really good because it saves me a lot of time trying to untangle and separate them. Here's another big chunk which is unfortunately a tangled mess. So I just have to be careful and loosen them up and pull them in the proper sequence because otherwise they would all interact with each other and you know break each other apart so game of pickup sticks or operation whichever <laughs> it's all the same manual dexterity man i just have to move this out of the way this one as well this one goes on top and are there other stems here yes this one, we want to get this loose. Here you go. Another big chunk. And let's keep working on this. Slowly making our way to the other side. I've gotten another big chunk here. That was a good one. Another big chunk right here. There. Another big chunk, hopefully. Yeah, it's a big chunk, but it's all tangled up over at this side. So I'll leave that for later. I'll start with this one first. Yeah, I like working my hands because, as I mentioned, I have good manual dexterity. I work faster and better with my hands rather than using tools such as these. I just have to make sure to wash my hands after each session. So here's another big chunk. Let's just untangle the branches. Hopefully they do not interact and pull each other apart. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Another big chunk there. And there's another one here that I would like to get rid of. So again, I'm just using a combination of the techniques I've already mentioned so far. I'm using a loose, loose palm technique, loose fingers technique. I'm not sure what to call them. Just to handle all of the, the draping parts, the trailing parts, while I try to wiggle around the roots here. And almost there. Wow, this has a very thick root system. Almost there. And yeah, look at those roots, man. And not a lot left. This is a quite dry stem, almost dead. I might just get rid of this. And we have a few more here. Few more. I think we're about ready to get rid of the final part. Or at least we're getting close. Yep, 
yeah don't worry if some of them just break out like this as long as the leaves are intact you know it doesn't really matter another branch another tango well yep and we're done well almost done we're down to the last couple of clumps oh this is a good one and i think this is the last one now yeah and we're done so that's how i would get rid of burrito that are in an old basket another thing that i could do let's say well i bought i just bought this one from the market yesterday and this is a rather small tiny pot and yeah this is a hanging basket with just this attachment on top so get rid of that you know the first step is to get rid of everything that might go in your way so just clearing up everything and once you have a clear view of the plant you would want to pick a side where you would want to start with i generally prefer doing the clearing trick and just shifting the soil from underneath once the soil is loosened up and broken apart we could easily pull them up fortunately for us this is a plastic pot and i could just squeeze it to loosen up the soil and once the soil is loose enough use any of the previous techniques i've shown you and in this case i'm just going to shift the soil to one side and we safely got a plant out of the pot that simple so those are just some of the techniques that you could use on fragile plants with more hardy plants such as the jelly beans they do break apart but not as much as the burrito i just go with my fingers and just pull them out you know just being very careful about which stem and branch i work on but otherwise i can employ less finesse with my techniques when handling these types of plants so that's it for this video i hope you learned a thing or two leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more videos like this and i'll see you in the next one bye